Yeah, hey everybody. So I'm gonna answer another Twitter question. Uh, number one, mobile, native apps, web apps, and hybrid apps. Which one is better? As you say, there are always exception, but what there's always exceptions. But what is the future of mobile mobile applications? I think that the future for most projects is going to be using some sort of uh, hybrid framework or maybe some web-based cross-platform framework. Uh, whether it be maybe uh, Flutter, maybe continued growth of React Native, uh, you know, who knows, you know, phone gap. There's the point is, I think that uh, cross-platform non-native solutions or cross-platform solutions, where you write write one code base that compiles down to uh, iOS and Android at the same time, I think that is the future for a couple of reasons. A, uh, people. People don't want to spend twice as much money maintaining the same app in two different code bases. I was talking to a friend of mine who works for one of the biggest software development companies in the world by far. And uh, he's, he's been involved with uh, his position there. I forget the exact title all of a sudden, but, but essentially his job is to go in to see clients and to flesh out what their project is is going to what they need to have done for their particular application that they're having built for their businesses for internal use for for medium and large size businesses so he said when he went into this role he was a developer uh, a lead developer before and he went into this role where he's actually just uh, figuring out client specifications and dealing with the clients on a regular basis he would then gather all these requirements bring it back to the lead developers, and then they would proceed to develop the app accordingly. So what he, he was telling me, he switched over to this role about six years ago, I think it was, and he said at that time, about 30% of the jobs were native. 30% of the jobs were native, whether it be native Android or, or iOS. He said, though, uh, in the last four years, it's zero. They've done literally zero native jobs. Now, I'm not saying that that's the case everywhere. There's still a bunch of people who are, running, who are writing native apps for iOS and Android. And he put it very succinctly to me in terms of when he talks to his clients. He says, you want to go native? If you go native, the responsiveness of the application might be two-tenths of a second faster than the non-native solution. Two-tenths of a second faster. But to get that little boost the performance, um, it's going to mean you're going to have twice the cost to build your application because you're going to have to build an Android and you're going to have to build an iOS, which means you're going to have twice the maintenance costs and twice the update prices. So all the businesses, 100%, have now said, no, no, we're going to go with the, they use Cordova and PhoneGap. That doesn't mean you should drop everything to Cordova, PhoneGap. For me, I'm I'm on a superficial level, I looked at Flutter, and to me, Flutter might be something really cool to look at, or you can React Native, lots of solutions. A lot of times, the solutions that you pick in this context, in any context, depends on the needs of the particular job. So yeah, I think, so that's A, number one, there's a huge cost saving with using a, a hybrid or a, some cross cross-platform, non-native solution to build your uh, mobile apps. I think a lot of people are just going to stick to responsive sites as well. And the other reason for that is because is because these devices are getting so bloody fast and powerful. You know, when these things came out, native solutions really made sense because the hardware wasn't as nearly as fast. Now these things are super fast. This has, this is a Pixel 3, and uh, it has a processor in here, enough RAM in here. It could, it could run circles around the fastest laptops from five years ago. It's just so powerful. And every year, they get a little bit more powerful, a little bit more powerful. The operating systems themselves, whether it be Android or, or iOS, are getting better and better and better. Now, there are situations where you need to go native, where you may need to access certain hardware uh, that you can access with the non-native solutions. 
as always, when you sit down to do a job, you look at what the requirements are, and then you make your choice in terms of which technology stack you're going to choose. Remember, when people choose technology stacks, yes, they do check to see uh, the performance and the uh, reliability of a particular technology, whether it be go native with Swift or Objective-C or native with Kotlin or Java for Android. But they also look at, you know, or you go hybrid or, you know, whether you go with, uh, or just a responsive site or you go with uh, a Flutter, or you go React Native, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, the other thing people look at, of course, is cost, right? Because businesses are paying for these things. Cost is a huge issue. If you have to maintain two code bases in separate languages, see, that's the problem. Maintaining two code bases is hard enough, but maintaining two code bases in different technology stacks, one's Java or Kotlin and one's Objective-C or, or Swift for iOS, that means not only do you have to maintain two code bases, which is twice the cost, but you also have to have talent for the Android and talent for iOS. Now you can find people who do both, but you know, it's expensive. And at the end of the day, a lot of these apps that we're building, if not all of them, are business oriented. So cost is a factor. Nerds, programmers, especially beginners, intermediate level people, they're very myopic in their focus. They're only looking at languages. They're only looking at uh, things that they want to see in a particular language. And that's their major, their only criteria in which they use to judge whether or not to use this language or that language or this framework or that framework. You have to remember that there are business considerations as well. And I just discussed a few of them. So uh, yeah, long and short of it, I think hybrid, non-native, solutions are going to become more and more and more important because of the reasons, the two reasons I mentioned.